Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a bathroom makeover. So I'm going to be doing this in our upstairs bathroom, which is the bathroom that our boys use and also the one that our guests use. I have honestly not really done anything to this bathroom since we moved in about a year ago and it definitely needs a bit of a facelift. So I am going to be transforming this bathroom into a beautiful and functional space. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is deep cleaning the bathroom and pulling everything out. I want to start with a very clean space. So I am just going to be cleaning everything in this bathroom from top to bottom. And then after everything's clean and taken out, I'm going to go into the cabinets and the drawers and I'm going to start decluttering and organizing everything. I really want to make sure that everything in this bathroom is something that we need in here. And then anything that's left, I really want to organize that space in a sustainable way that is able to be maintained and just not looking trashed in a week or two. So those are going to be my first focuses. And then once everything is clean and decluttered and organized, that's when I'm gonna go in and start decorating this space and transforming it into a beautiful bathroom that is not only enjoyable to be in, but also very functional. So I hope that this video will give you guys some amazing cleaning motivation, as well as some organization ideas, and also some ideas on how you can decorate your own bathroom. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. So the first thing that I'm doing is just putting some toilet cleaner in the bowl and letting that soak for a few minutes. And then I'm also going to be spraying our toilet down with a disinfectant cleaner. And I've learned actually from you guys that with disinfectant cleaners, you have to kind of let them sit in order to let them work a little bit better. So that's why I do that first. And then I will just go ahead and wipe down our counters while I let that disinfect. In a good way, so come on, baby, let's talk. Let's talk about love. Once the counters have been wiped off, I move back over to the toilet and that's when I'm going to start using some disposable wipes. I usually prefer to use reusable cloths when I'm cleaning, however, when I'm cleaning my toilet, I do like to use disposable cloths just because I find it so gross to have to wash that cloth with all of our other laundry and it's just something that kind of grosses me out. So when it comes to the toilet, it is disposable cloths all the way. Let's talk about love. Next, to clean my mirror, I am just using my e-cloths and all you do is you just get the general purpose cloth wet with water and then you just wipe down your mirror and then you dry and polish it with the glass and polishing cloth and you will be amazed there will be zero streaks on your mirror and it's my favorite thing to use to clean windows and mirrors. Let's talk about love. So I wanted to take just a minute and talk to you guys about our Quip toothbrushes and I'm really excited to be partnering with Quip on this video. So if you are unfamiliar with them, Quip is an oral care company focused on helping you brush better and they offer sleek electric toothbrushes and a subscription service for brush heads and toothpaste refills. So we have actually been using Quip for about two and a half months now 
and we have been loving them so much. I feel like there have just been so many benefits ever since switching over to Quip. So a few of our favorite things are one, I love the holders that can attach to your mirrors. It's really nice for our kids to kind of help remind them to brush their teeth instead of just having them sitting in the drawer all the time. And I personally love that they are aesthetically pleasing. Now that's not like a must for me with my toothbrushes, but it is a nice added benefit. I also love that you can get brush heads delivered every three months. And honestly, as a busy mom, I feel like I've been struggling with so many things lately because we feel like we just had so much on our plate. And so for me, having to remember one less thing is definitely a plus. Their toothbrushes also have a two minute timer along with 30 second pulses to remind you to switch sides. And this has been something that's been really helpful for me just because we are trying to teach our boys how to brush their teeth properly and just kind of teach them good brushing skills. And so instead of them brushing for 30 seconds and then being done, I just have to say, wait till your toothbrush turns off and that is how you know you're done. And another added bonus is these toothbrushes are not overly powerful. We've had some electric toothbrushes in the past and I try them with my kids and they say they tickle too much or they are just really uncomfortable because they kind of hurt their gums. And so they end up wanting to go back to a traditional toothbrush, but these ones are really nice because while they are so electric and they do get your teeth extra clean, they are not so overly powerful so that it makes it hard for your kids to brush their teeth. And they're even nice for Kyle and I just because they don't upset our gums. Like I said, we have been using them for the last few months and I would highly recommend them. I think they are really amazing toothbrushes and especially at the price point, you just can't beat that. So I will have a link down below for you to check them out and then it will also give you a $10 refill credit. So definitely check them out and get that extra discount. I know that you guys are going to love them. So although I am deep cleaning most areas of my bathroom today, I'm not going to be deep cleaning my bathtub and that is because I just deep cleaned it since we did have a bunch of guests over. So today I'm just going to be using that same method bathroom spray and just kind of wiping down the shower because as I said, I don't really need to deep clean it. I keep going high, she keeps going low. Something feels wrong right now, I know. Something feels wrong. You don't wait for me cause I keep breathing fire. Next, I'm just starting to take everything out of the bathroom. I really wanna start with a clean space and especially on the floor because you will see I will be sweeping and mopping the floors. So I really wanna get everything out of here so I can get a really good clean on the floors. So I am just moving everything out to the hallway for now and then I will deal with that later. And a little bit later on in the mess, you will see the behind the scenes of how messy the hallway is. It was kind of crazy, but that's just part of how it goes when you're doing a big makeover. Something feels wrong. You don't wait for me, cause I keep breathing fire I won't wait for you, cause you keep telling lies I keep going high, she keep going low At the end of the day, she's gone look You don't wait for me, cause I keep breathing fire And you keep telling lies Now 
Moving on to wiping down my baseboards, this is something that I don't do too often. As you can probably tell, I definitely think that I need to do it more often, but it's just something that is out of sight, out of mind. I don't really look down at the baseboards too often, and when I do, I'm usually not in the place to clean them. But while I had everything taken out of the bathroom, I just really wanted to get them good and clean. So now that everything has been cleaned, I am taking everything out of the drawer. And this is a little tip when you are decluttering, especially when you're decluttering small areas like drawers, it's really nice if you have an extra bin and that way you can really clear out the drawers and set up your new organization system in there without having everything spread out all over the place. You can keep it contained in that nice little bin. And these little organization bins I actually got from Marshalls several weeks ago. I really like getting organization bins from Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I feel like you can get really great quality items for a discounted price and that is definitely my favorite way to go on this stuff. And another little tip I have is to keep your organizing bins from sliding around in drawers is to go ahead and stick some sticky tack on the bottom of them. I actually didn't do that today just because I didn't have any on hand, but I will be heading to the store this week and getting some and putting them underneath there. You guys have probably seen me do this in my kitchen and in my living room and it works so amazing so I highly suggest that you do that and then everything won't be sliding around all the time when you open that drawer and it will help keep your organizing stations a lot neater and it will also keep it more sustainable so you'll kind of see that I'm playing around to see what is going to fit. I really like to use Dollar Tree bins where I can, especially if they're not going to be seen. You probably know that Dollar Tree bins, while they are very amazing for organizing, they aren't always the most aesthetically pleasing. However, when I'm putting them in cabinets and areas that you're not going to just be seeing all the time, I really do like to utilize the Dollar Tree bins just because they are so affordable. And another tip when organizing and decluttering is it's nice to actually leave some space and not fill up every nook and cranny. When you do that, you don't leave room to grow and things in life are constantly growing and constantly changing. So you really want to leave a little bit of extra space so that when you do add more things in or when your needs change, that you have a little bit of space to grow. And that is one of my best tips for keeping your organizing systems more sustainable. Finally, now that everything has been cleaned and decluttered and organized, I'm going to start bringing in some new furniture that I got and I'm also going to be bringing a few items in that I've had from around the house and some items that are new from the store. So the new items, I got most everything from Hobby Lobby and everything that I got at Hobby Lobby was half off. If you guys have any questions about anything that I got, let me know in the comments. I'm also planning to do a summer home tour in the next week or two and so in that video, I will come back up to this bathroom and share where I got everything. But if if you do have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments. So 
So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I pretty much hang everything up in my house with Velcro command strips. I swear by them. I think they work amazing. They don't damage your wall at all and they just make the whole process so incredibly easy. So anything that you see me hang on my wall that isn't a shelf or something that's going to be holding something, it will almost always be put on my wall with command strips. When I was deciding how I was going to be decorating this bathroom, I really wanted it to be a bright and open space. And so for that reason, I chose a lot of white colors and a lot of bright colors. And another thing that I really feel like opens up spaces and just makes it really fresh is bringing in greenery. So you'll find as you watch my videos and as you go throughout my house, I of course want things to look pretty because who doesn't? But above anything else, I really want things to be functional. So that's why I chose something like this where it's a closed space so it looks really pretty, but then you can open it up and it has shelves inside and I can put baskets inside and make this space super functional. We actually don't have any linen closets in our house and none like in the bathrooms or anything to keep towels. So that's why I really wanted to get this cabinet in here. So we actually had some shelves in here that we could keep some towels for our guests and some for the boys as well. This shower curtain is one that I've had for several, several years and so I was really excited to go ahead and make a little change in here. So I'm first starting out by changing out the shower liner and then I'm putting up this shower curtain and this is such a beautiful shower curtain. I am so obsessed with it. I actually got this one off Amazon for under $20 so I will have that link down in the description box if you want to check it out. But the quality is amazing and if you like this style then you should definitely check it out because I am in love with it. Moving on to the shelf above the toilet, I really wanted to add a shelf that would be one really pretty to look at and something that I could add a few pieces of decor onto, but also that I could make practical and add some more practical pieces onto. So I have to say this part was really funny just listening to me and Kyle talk back and forth to each other. So I'm going to be leaving some bloopers and just some behind the scenes at the very end of this video. So if you guys like that stuff, be sure to watch to the end because this is just cracking me up. Kyle was giving me such a hard time about it and I was giving him a hard time. It was just really funny. So I hope that you guys stay to the end and enjoy those funny behind the scenes. I had seen this on Facebook several years ago, I believe, where you can actually put toothpaste onto the holes of where you need to hang your item up on the wall, and then you just level your item and you stick it onto the wall, and the toothpaste basically just marks the wall for you. Kyle was giving me such a hard time because he is so into measuring and marking at once and just making sure that everything is exact, and that is not really how I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things more by sight and just kind of what looks best to me, and so I was totally excited to try this way, and he was just kind of struggling with the the idea of this but he went along with it and it ended up turning out really good so if you guys have not tried this technique it actually worked out really well so I definitely suggest trying it out next time you need to hang something up
So once we got the wall repaired and painted, I just started decorating this shelf. I did get this from Hobby Lobby and I also got the sign from Hobby Lobby and I believe everything else came from the Dollar Tree. So this is a perfect example of making something a really pretty space, but also making it functional. So in one of the containers, I am adding band-aids that our kids always get to. I also am adding in some Q-tips for our guests. And then on the other side, I'm adding in some bath products. So our kids love bath bomb baths. And I will either order some inexpensive bath bombs on Amazon or we just get the ones from Dollar Tree for our kids. And they love those ones and I feel like they are the perfect size. But up until now, I've just had them sitting in the cabinet and I just thought putting them in a bowl would be really easy and also really fun looking. So that's why I decided to go ahead and display them on the shelf. Next, I'm going to be fixing up our counter space. And the first thing that I'm doing is actually plugging in a Bath & Body Works wallflower. This is our first time having one. I shared a Bath & Body Works haul about a week ago. So if you guys have not seen that, I will link that down below and also up in the iCards. But they are having their semi-annual sale right now. And so I went ahead and stocked up on a few things. And the wallflowers were one of them and I am loving them. The next thing I wanted to do was keep the countertop really cleared off and just really minimal. Only things that were really useful and things that we would use all the time. So I wanted to go ahead and move the toothbrushes over to a more convenient spot for the boys to use every day. And then I just moved a few extra rolls of toilet paper up onto the countertop so that it wasn't always sliding off the back of the toilet. And then since the way this bathroom is set up, we don't have a place to go ahead and hang a hand towel on the wall. So I just have this standalone one that I got a few years ago from Walmart. And I'm just putting some washcloths on here just to dry your hands. The next thing I'm doing is just taking off this towel hook that we've had for several years, but I wanted to paint it white just so it was a little bit more bright and it went with the rest of the room. So I actually had Kyle go ahead and spray paint this and then we hooked it back up on the wall because as you can see, I had tried to command strip this up and this one really didn't work because we were hanging towels on it and the kids were pulling their towels off of it all the time and it seemed like every few weeks it would end up falling to the ground. So we just needed to go ahead and nail this one into the wall. This is the part of these makeovers that you guys don't always see, but anytime you see a makeover, you can pretty much always guarantee that there's going to be mess behind the scenes. So instead of just handling this on my own later, I decided to go ahead and share this part with you guys and give you guys a little bit of extra cleaning motivation. So this was actually the next day. 
I had ordered this bench off of Amazon and I was waiting for it to come in and so once it came in I just went ahead and put it together it was really easy to put together but my thought behind having a bench in here was one it would give us a little bit of extra storage and then I also love the idea of when the boys were taking a bath I would have a spot to sit and help wash their hair and everything and another little feature of this bench that I love is that it actually has a little footstool tucked away and that way the boys can still have a footstool but there's a place for it to go so it's not always something you're tripping over when you walk in the bathroom but the only thing wrong with this bench is it wasn't in the right color so I needed to go ahead and paint that to match the rest of the decor in here and then I just kind of sanded it off a little bit and kind of roughed it up to make it look a little bit more rustic and match the rest of the decor just to feel your arms around me So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you guys some amazing cleaning motivation as well as some organizing tips on ways to make your organization more sustainable. And I hope it also gave you some ideas on how to decorate your bathroom and make it not only functional, but also beautiful and a place that you enjoy to be. I also wanted to announce to you guys that if you are local to me near the North Salt Lake area, I am actually going to be offering to come to someone's house and go ahead and make over an area in your house. I just thought that would be a great way to go ahead and give back. And all I ask is that you let me go ahead and film that and be able to share the ideas that I come up with for your space. So like I said, if you are local to the North Salt Lake area, I will leave my email down in the description box. So go ahead and email me the information that I will leave down in the description box. I'm really excited for this. I've already mentioned it over on Instagram and I've already had a few entries. So I will be going through them and then picking someone to go ahead and make over a room in their house. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to also check out that link below for Quip. Like I said, that link will give you a $10 refill credit to them. And I know that you guys will love them just as much as we do. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also head over to Instagram and follow me over there. And I will see you in my next one. To do that, <laughs> you might not even notice, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will notice. I would either not put this up, or we're just gonna have to film another day, or take the time and just do this. Or just take the time and just do that. Not what I was hoping to say. I think that having a pencil and a tape measure and a level, I know for a fact I can make it good. Let's just dab some toothpaste on it and hope it works. <laughs> it will work. This is a bad idea. Oh, boom. All right, let's try it. Look how good that worked. That's pretty level. Now it let's doesn't look level to me. Level. It doesn't look level to me. It's hard to tell with this. Oh, is it? <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty dang close. I'm going to show my face. Is just that so your they, I told you so face? Just so they know. Oh, just so you know. Just so they know, I'm actually an amazing carpenter. You're pretty much like a carpenter now. What? I told you. I told you. <laughs> no, I think right here might be best. That's not where it's... Actually, this is supposed to be like a tongue. Are you just waiting for one of them to do it? 80% done, 100%, no paint at all. Boom, baby.